Compound angle formula application question 7. Show that cos 2x equals to cos square x minus sin square x, which is equals to 2 cos square x minus 1, and that is equals to 1 minus 2 sin square x. Well, uh, cos 2x and sin 2x formulas are called the double angle formulas, right? Instead of x, we have 2x now. So remember these formulas as double angle formulas, okay? We have double angle. formula. So they are very useful. I like you to remember them and apply them whenever needed, right? Then we will soon apply them in finding out what is cos 3x or what is sin 3x, correct? And then in the test you may be asked to prove what is cos 4x or 5x. Now knowing these formulas help and they can be used like standard formulas, right? Now let's try to prove it. It is simple proof starting with compound angle formula. So we can write cos of 2x as equal to cos of x plus x, right? And now using double angle formula, I'll just expand it and we get what? We get cos x and then again cos x minus sin x, sin x. You know, cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b but here both a and b are same and therefore we get cos x cos x minus sin x sin x and that gives us the first form which is cos square x minus sin square x so that is one formula which you can use directly right and the other forms we can get by writing cos square x as 1 minus sin square x so the other two let me do them separately right starting from here. So we have cos square x minus sin square x. So now I can write cos square x as 1 minus sin square x. And this is minus sin square x. And that gives me 1 minus 2 sin square x. So that is this one. And if I split sin, I'll get in terms of cosine, right? So this could be written as, let me rewrite this, cos square x minus sin square x, right? So this time I'll maintain cos and I'll say cos square x equals minus and sin square x is 1 minus cos square x. So that gives me cos square x minus 1 plus cos square x, which is 2 cos square x minus 1. So, so this cos 2x can be written in either form, right? So it has three formulas to use. Depending on what kind of result you are looking for, you can use either of these three, okay? That's a very important identity or formula and it's called double angle formula, okay?